go. Uh, so this location I've known about for a long time. And I'll wait till this car goes by. There we go. So this location I've known about for a long time. Uh, I used to drive past it when I went to my grandparents' house. Um, interesting little story attached to this. Uh, the person that used to live here uh, was American. And he had bought this with the idea originally this floods in the summertime so you can see we're kind of in a swampy area so this floods in the summertime and in the spring and the gentleman that owned this used to have a great big sailboat parked right here alongside the road and he had the idea that he was going to fix this sailboat fix it all up and this sailboat was big, like it stretched from probably about here to probably about where that big tree is right there. It was a big long sailboat, really big. And he was going to repair it, and when the water got high in here, he was going to float it out of here to a little creek that's over here to the left, then sail it down to the Rideau Canal, and then sail it out to St. Lawrence and on out into the ocean. But... uh yeah, obviously that didn't happen. And uh, if you knew this location where we were, there was just that almost impossible to do it. Like, I, I don't know what the guy, how he thought that was going to happen. Because we are a long piece from anything. But anyways, yeah, he had the sailboat. He was going to fix it up and he was going to sail it out of here. But uh, the sailboat has since burnt. burnt. Somebody lit it on fire. That's why it's no longer here. It was lit in fire a long time when burned. And this house has been abandoned for a long time. There is water. Yeah, like this is a swamp, yeah. This floods, that's why the house is up on stilts. So the guy that lived here was, like I said, in like a little opening, he was uh, he was American. I think they said he was from Florida, somewhere along the coast. And that's kind of why he bought the house here and built it here. Because like, he kind of had the idea to put up on stilts. Kind of keep it out of the water. But yeah, this used to all flood. Like this, That road, the road right out here in front used to flood right across the road. And uh, he had a sailboat here, and he was going to fix the sailboat up. And like I said, he was going to sail it <laughs> out of here. I guess that somebody was actually trying to move those concrete blocks. More blocks for the foundation. Like, if you look where the well is, like, that's the well over there. It's, like, right in the swamp. <laughs> it's, like, stored a bunch of stuff underneath here. Extension cord. Old rake. Still looks kind of stable. <laughs> yeah, nobody's lived in this in a long time. Pink cans there.
I don't know. What do you think of that deck? <laughs> There's two, en two entrances, so I'll try this one. There's his workbench over there. But yeah, you can see this is just pure swamp in here. Whoa, did not see that from the front. Huge tree is right on the house. I'm surprised that didn't do more damage. Look at the big tree on it. Uh, I'm surprised that didn't do more damage. I guess maybe, yeah, I just kind of leaned over. Yeah. yeah. Got a lot of wicker stuff underneath it. It's like a hose rolled up. There's a sink. The ground's pretty firm here. I thought it was gonna be more like we'd be sinking into the into the ground kind of thing. It'd be more like uh, wet and soppy, but no, it's pretty pretty steady. Pretty firm, I should say. All the exposed piping too, like. That oh, it all freeze. Yeah, it all freeze. Yeah, the guy like like the copper piping right there. You can see the copper. Like, never. I might have been insulated under here. There is a bit of insulation, but I highly doubt it. Like, maybe only. I don't know what he did in the winter time. Yeah. Yeah, you'd never keep your pipes from freezing. Like it's. The gas tank underneath the tree. The oil tank. Oil, yeah. yeah, that's the oil tank. Yeah. I'm just gonna put my other glove on, it's kinda cold. But you can see, like, look at it, it's all swamp. Mm -hmm. yeah. There we go, got my other glove on, that's a little better. How'd they get an oil tank back? Yeah, oil tank right there underneath the tree. Uh, they'd have a long hose, they just run a hose. The back window's not broken there with the tree. Well, I'm surprised. Rain's yeah. Yeah, chair. All right. Definitely know he's been in this. Sorry for the shaky can. Yeah, he's a snowplow. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, the plow. Yeah, it's stable. Oh wow. Yeah, there's lots left. We'll just have to watch the floor when we go in for holes. See, see, see. Huh. I don't know what CCC is. Wow, have a retro, eh? Huh. Hello? Raccoons, hello? <laughs> Not know how sturdy the floor looks. Yeah, it just walks slow and... It's pretty steady. I looked underneath it, like it doesn't look too bad. But is it ever retro? Like I said, it's been abandoned since the mid-80s. I don't think anybody lived in this till. Like, since the 80s. Huh. It's a been wedding the, photo. Yeah, it could have been the lad right there. Or a graduation, one of the two. Yeah, they look like it may have been Filipino, maybe Mexican, I'm not sure. Can't tell. Yeah. yeah it's just a chunk of a. It's like a bathroom. Uh, the bathroom uh, vanities right here. Yeah. Wow, these are so 80s. I remember these little barrel things. I can't remember what they're for. What's that? Yeah. There's a box of Q-tips here, and it's like, it feels heavy like there's something in it. We'll have to open it. That's an old box Q-tips. 
So this little throne I call my own. I aim to keep it neat. So darn your soul, pee down the hole and not upon a seat. <laughs> Let's see. You want to do the honors? I got the camera in my hand here, so. You'll see if you can open that up. There's something in it. It's full of something. Maybe two things? Oh my gosh, the Q-tips still, still brand new Q-tips in That's it. That's wild, and that's an old Q-tip box. That's like from they the They still 80s. look pretty white, too. Yeah, never used. Yeah. The gentle touch. Yeah. <laughs> gentle touch. Yeah. That's an old box of Q-tips. Yeah. That was like a futon there. It was a futon here. I can't believe there's so much I stuff. I had that futon. Did you? Yep. When I lived in yeah. Ottawa, I had that exact futon. Yeah. Only I it, it had the arms yeah. on it. Well, I can't believe there's this much stuff left in here. Like I said, this has been abandoned since, like, the 80s. Because I remember when I was a young guy, this was abandoned. Yeah, and it broke a window. What's in that box on the table? It looks older. Yeah. Oh, look at that. There's toys and stuff. There's, like, a... I'll stir-fry you in my walk. A little, uh... Fire extinguisher. Beastie Boys. Uh, that box is uh, nails, looks like. Old box of nails. Huh? Two and a half inch. All the old cutlery. Yeah, there's like a ton of magazines over here on the floor. Yes. Like that? Wait. Say Florida on it? Yeah. I, I, I was going to, like I said in the opener, that I think that's where the guy was from, was from Florida. And like I said, he had a sailboat, and he was living in here, and he was going to fix it up and sail it out of here to the ocean. Yeah, that was his... To the ocean? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he was going to, like, he was going to sail out of here to the creek that's just down the road here, and he was going to sail it uh, down the, to the ocean, to the Rideau Canal, and they on the St. Lawrence, yeah. Father Herbert Gold. Hmm. Hmm. The old table. I was trying to see a date. A date on it. 1985, January 1985, 2nd. eh? January 2nd, 85. Yeah, big bolt there. It has a knife. Had a fuse panel in it, so that's, you know, I'm a pro uh, that's a little more modern. Yeah, it's not like it's the, uh, sorry, a breaker panel, not a fuse panel. I keep saying fuses. Breaker panel. So it's a little more modern. Because we had fuses. Yeah, our old house had fuses. Just up until recently. There was a fire extinguisher. I just noticed that underneath there. He still has stuff in his food. Yeah, I can't believe the amount that's still left in here. Like, this is amazing. There's the temperature up on the wall. Oh, it doesn't work. The mercury's... Oh, uh, maybe, yeah. It's saying minus uh, 5 on it. Yeah, it's still working. It's minus 5, so that's still working. Slow pan and shot here for you guys. There's no uh, real like it's kind of vandalized, but there's no spray paint or nothing. Like I'm I'm surprised. Like I thought we were gonna see a lot less. This is pretty impressive. There's this much left. Yeah, lots of books lay on the ground there. We got croutons. Oh, nice. Bacon bits. <laughs> Oatmeal and sugar or salt, yeah. one of the two. Wow, croutons. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> wow, it was, plastic. it was a booby trap. <laughs> that was a booby trap. It was a booby trap. Yeah. There's the hot water tank. It. Yeah. There's the hot water tank. Yeah. Got some black pepper down there. Yeah. Not a big house because I think this is the back door out to the yeah. pair of boots. <laughs> the little, did you see the little stove? Yeah. Wow, is that ever small? A little gas stove. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah. Definitely been raccoons. You can see the raccoon poop. They've come in and made their home. Yeah, here's the cupboards. 
Yeah. That's amazing. This stuff looks like you can just open it and have at it right now. I'm going to go ahead and say definitely a wedding. Well, wedding, wedding photos? Yeah. Yeah. The same yeah. couple? Yeah. So that's maybe the people that lived here. Yeah. Spices and stuff on the cutting board. You can see everything's pretty dated though. Like I said, 80s. Well, there's some stuff that could be 90s in here. Ladies' saw there. Ladies' boots. Some work boots. That looks military. Yeah, that is. Yeah. It's pretty neat. I'm pretty sure that's military. Oh, nice big knife right there. So there's the chair. Yeah, that's cool. I like stuff like that. Oh, we have an attic. Had, there's an attic in it? Wow. Electric heat. Yeah, I believe this is the door at the back. It's not a big house. Yeah, the whole that it's a good thing we went up the front deck. The back back deck doesn't look uh too promising. Uh, oh, now I've done it. Oh, I just got a bottle in there. Where did you come from? A little bottle got in the doorway. We'll just close that back up. There we go. The door still works pretty good. I don't know. Maybe there was some modernization. Maybe sometime in the nineties. I don't know. That door looks pretty good. It's a more newer door, but I'm not sure what we got in here. Is it a storage area? Yeah. Might have been the bathroom at one time. I'm thinking with the uh, hanger right there, you might have had a, one of the retro curtains. I think this might have been the bathroom maybe at one point. Just tattered. Maybe somebody tried to, to fix it up at one point. And then just kind of gave up. Yeah, it's like I've seen a bunch of stuff in here for doing reno, so I'm thinking maybe somebody tried at some point to renovate it, maybe or try to fix it and gave up. That old grill box is pretty old. Sitting over there. Some ductwork. And there's your hot water tank. <laughs> Kills moss and roaches. That is pretty old. <laughs> old spray. I haven't seen one of those in a long time. I don't want to touch it because in case there's still chemical in it. Uh, tote. There's a photo there. My wife was pointing out. Yeah, the same couple in the picture, right? Eh? Yeah. Yeah, she's pretty. Definitely 80, like... Like that, that old the limo in the picture is like a like an early '80s, so definitely uh, definitely the couple that lived here. Yeah, he managed to get a little bit of an attic up there. Yeah, I'm pleasantly surprised. I didn't think we we're gonna see this much in it. The button fly jeans, that kind of dates. Well, I guess they're still made of those. Right? Magazines in here. I don't really want to move too much around in there. There's a lot of raccoon poopy on top of it. There's a date there. No, maybe it's just a number for the material or something on it. Yeah. There's a little shot of the. In this angle. Let's give you guys a good view. Okay. Definitely the coons have been in here, eh? Yeah. yeah. This must have been the main bedroom. Yeah. Actually, I think the back bedroom is the one. Oh, that's maybe. The one. So it's made of spare. The raccoons have been. Raccoons have been in here, poopy, poopy. <laughs> yeah. Electric so heat. Baseboard heats. Yeah, electric heat. Yeah. Be. 
I think somebody might have came in and tried to fix it up at one point. I saw a bunch of supplies for doing like a reno, like renovating stuff or re fixing things up, but this is pretty, pretty cheaply built. But I'm impressed. It's in, I mean, for what it is, it's in pretty good shape for the amount of years it's been abandoned. Wow, there's a lot of. See the... Yeah, see the marks where something's been climbing up here, up the wall, mm -hmm. up into the ceiling. Yeah. Yeah, there's an attic up in it. Oh, that'd be maybe the coons climbing up there to get up in there and coming down. Or squirrels. Squirrels, too, yeah. You can see all the animal climb marks. I've been doing it for so long. You see the little broken horse here on the floor? Yeah. There's like a little broken horse uh, figurine here on the floor. Right here. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. tail down there on the floor. Yeah. Oh yeah, look at the bed. That's why I think that was a uh, room it's Might have been, yeah. It's got, still got the lamp next to it. Yeah. Yeah. We'll sit Mr. Horsey up there on the bed. Yeah. Yeah. The old broom. Hmm. You okay? Yeah, I just broke the thing on the camera. Oh, yeah, it's hard to walk sometimes in these places. Like, the stuff's all over the floor. Tossed. Something's made a nest there at one point in time. Maybe squirrels or a coon. Bit of mold in her. Not too bad though. So we're okay. We do not have a whole lot of mold. Oh, look at this room. Oh, this is the bathroom. I thought the other room was the bathroom. That looks that looks funky with that uh, curtain. <laughs> Here guys, I'll give you a bit of light. Just give me a second bear with me. Here we go. Hopefully this translates well on the camera. Face cloth still hanging up on the towel bar. That's crazy. Not a bad bathroom. Pretty decent. You know, not big. But, you know. Yep. Camera there. That's an old bottle of Edge shaving cream. Yeah, definitely. Definitely, I know this place was definitely abandoned in the 80s. Maybe, I don't know if somebody was maybe in here in the 90s trying to reno it, but yeah, it's definitely, yeah, no power for sure in here. Yeah. Yeah. Built-in medicine cabinet, that's kind of nice actually. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's not a bad little, like it's not bad. Yeah. Oh, I'm on camera. No, me, I don't like being on camera. Yeah, three mirrors. That's kind of. I like the way that's designed, though. That's that's pretty neat. It's got the one, two, three. Sorry for the light, guys. It's kind of I'm trying to shoot it without uh, showing you stuff without giving you bad lighting. What we got here? A couple of bars of soap, Irish Spring. Huh, some body wash. Yeah. Old toothpaste. Yeah. I'll do it hot there's without the light. Pretty wild. Tub. The old tub. Yeah. Yeah, awesome. Oh, the toilet's got nothing, so we can look at the toilet. Yeah. Seems like the looks like the people actually I get the feeling they actually did try to take care of this place. I think that's where there was a big vanity when we first walked in the door, I think that's where it would have been. Yeah. Yeah, back of the door. Let's see if I can give you another shot of the bathroom real quick here. There's a, not a big bathroom. I like the light though. That's right about where that tree would be, is right over this bathroom. 
So let's hopefully decide the house doesn't decide to fall over because of that tree. <laughs> Thermostats. All the rooms had thermostats in them. It's kind of impressive in a house like this. It's, uh... Had a big rug plus carpeting. That carpeting was very 80s. Very 80s. Wardrobe. <laughs> that was pretty it's like a bottle of coffee pretty uh, degraded inside yeah. pillows are still here yeah my wife's right they both match yeah. bedding are they oh yeah yeah it's actually well built other than it's like the design flaw of the uh, of the underneath of it, like the underneath, like with the piping and everything exposed, with the you know, it's actually kind of solidly built. Like whoever built it, kind of knew what they were doing. I mean, I'm not an expert. My construction experience is uh, not hugely extensive. I know a little bit. Yeah, that's pretty, pretty destroyed right there, whatever it was. Looks like it was maybe a TV stand of some kind. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty wild. Huh, there's a coconut. Huh, see the, the uh, stuff decorating this place has kind of got a, their, uh, tropical vibes so the, the couple in the picture look kind of like they might have been maybe Filipino so maybe a Filipino gentleman maybe he was Mexican I'm not sure what the ethnicity he was but uh, yeah something. Oh, well, maybe something in there oh it's not raccoon poop oh no nothing in it I felt like there was jokes on me yeah. Huh. Get them back out. Not a big house, eh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm surprised it's not more vandalized than what it is, being it's been abandoned for so long. Mm. Well, I think the animals did a good Yeah, the animals kind of had their their way with it. Yeah. Ooh. See, that's what I said. Yeah. Jeez. That's the same thing I went. Yeah, bang. Yeah, it's like, I think there's a, like a light bulb underneath it or something in it. Yeah. No, underneath that piece of wood, I think there's like chunks of a light bulb. There's like a light bulb laying there on the floor. Yeah, there's still like dental floss and stuff on the floor. And yeah. Did you open this tote? You know, I closed uh, it. Oh, nothing in it? Oh, okay. Oh, look at the toad here. Oh, just bedding. Bedding in a bag. Looks like. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's a couple there that lived there. Or maybe. I'm assuming. Yeah. yeah. Give you guys a nice little. Let's look here. Pretty cool. Explore. I can't get over the Q-tips. <laughs> yeah. Looks like it might have had two bathrooms. There's like a bathroom, little bathroom might have been like a... Oh, it was the pantry? I was thinking maybe that was another little secondary bathroom with uh, just maybe just a toilet in it, but... No, it's yeah. Oh, pantry. these little scissors, those are kind of cool. Yeah. 
Window broken. Yeah. Huh. Pretty neat. Go walk around to the back side of it and have a look at the outside of it. But yeah, like you can see, it was built right in a swamp. Yeah. I'm surprised too, there was barely any mold in it. Like I thought, I was watching when we walked into it for mold, because I thought, ooh, it's in a swamp, there might be a lot of mold in this one. I wasn't sure how far we are gonna go, but it was actually not that much in it. Like I can remember when this swamp flooded one time and the water was like up up to here on this place. Like it was flooded, like, like you couldn't get in the driveway, the water, there was like three feet of water over the driveway. I don't know why he built in here. Uh, yeah, maybe we got the land cheap, maybe. Like I said, the uh, the story I know is like he uh, he had a boat, a sailboat, and he was gonna fix it up in here, and he was gonna sail it down along the road to the creek that's just over here, and then down at the Rideau Canal, and then on it to the St. Lawrence in the ocean. Yeah, there's the backside. Yeah. Is that an old fridge or? Uh, I think it's just a wooden storage thing of some kind. Just a like a garden hose in it. Might have been like an old, yeah, like ice box. I'm not sure. Yeah, it looks like it was handmade. That's not uh, store bought. The old chair. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think, uh, like I said, uh, I think somebody maybe came here and was trying to reno it maybe at one point. Because this little pantry room or the little bathroom, whatever area that was, had a bunch of stuff in it for um, like painting and doing repairs and that kind of thing. So I don't know if maybe somebody had designs of trying to fix it up at one point. They must have had to bring drinking water in because you couldn't you couldn't have a well here. I mean, you could use the water for gray water or like like maybe washing stuff and that kind of thing, but you couldn't drink it. Oh crap! I didn't realize the wire for the power is still connected. That's impressive. And like I think. Yeah, so, so maybe somebody was trying to fix it up because they put like the cap where the uh, meter was, like they were gonna like, like they actually kind of cared that they might come back and put a meter on this place. But, yeah, pretty cool. One last shot there, guys. Yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.